Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, baseball fans of all ages, hello and welcome to the Tom Graham Diamond at Memorial Field for today's South Shore League tournament opener. It's the Norwell Clippers and the Abington Green Wave. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside today by Aaron Johnson. AJ, pleasure to be with you on this hot, steamy afternoon. 90 degrees at first pitch. And the first pitch from Steven Madden, today's starter, is high and outside for ball one. The Clippers lineup led off by number five, Nick Ferrero. Brady Kudrick will hit second. Connor Terrian bats third. A.J. Van Winkle is the cleanup hitter. Chris Allen hits fifth. Matt Kilroy is batting sixth. Alex Pe uh, Alec Pennett excuse me, is batting seventh for the Clippers. Batting eighth is Robert Lydon and Hitting ninth is Jack Burtwell. That one's in there for a strike. What a ball and a strike to Ferraro. Yeah, we've got uh, Brady Cristoforo here as a notable and active starting pitcher. There was a graduation party incident. Says he's hopeful he'll be back for the playoffs. Three balls, one strike, two Ferraro. And that is ball four. Ferraro was a little bit unsure whether that was strike two or not. Instead, he trots down to first base for the free base. Ferraro takes off for second, swing and a miss, strike one. Merrick's throw down. The umpires are going to conference here and decide whether it's interference on the batter, Brady Kudrick, who might have gotten in the way of Merrick's throw down after he swung and missed. Say no interference. Oh, rough start out to the, the the beginning of this game. You might see uh, get a little bit chippy here. <laughs> Owen one to Kudrick, the right fielder for the Clippers. Did uh, did you see interference? A case could be made. Swing and a miss, strike two. The Green Wave defense at first base is Matt McGuire. The second baseman is Eddie Riley. The shortstop is John Polito. Third baseman is Aaron Siegel. Left to right across the outfield, Jack Clifford gets the start in left field. Ryan Tobin is in center, and Aiden O'Donnell is playing right. Spencer Merrick doing the catching for Steven Madden, who just got his first strikeout of the afternoon. Brady Kudrick goes down by way of the K. In comes the catcher, Connor Terry. One walk and uh, one strikeout to start this inning. Another strike there for Steve Madden. He's starting to heat up. This one fouled up out of play. Uh oh, that one's close to your car. That sounded like it made contact with a vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pitch for Madden is a high ball one. One ball, two strikes to Terrian. It is. And Winkle is on deck. It is humid out here. Very steamy. This is actually a rematch of a game last week. Last game of the regular season. 
in fact, for the Green Wave coming into the South Shore League Tournament. A very memorable ending to that one as Owen Haggerty hit a walk-off inside the park home run in the bottom of the fifth inning to force the slaughter rule. In his first at bat of the season, he hits a what, what have I been waiting for gap shot to right center field. Two balls, two strikes to Tarion. That's strike three over the outside corner and two straight strikeouts for Madden. A.J. Van Winkle, the first baseman for the Clippers, steps in with Nick Ferraro on second base. You're right, A.J. Madden's starting to heat up. He is starting to heat up. I feel loud. You're not. You're fine. All right, all right, good. Pitch for Madden over the outside corner. Strike two. Jeez. No balls, two strikes from Stephen Madden. The 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike wow. three. After giving up an opening walk, Stephen Madden strikes out the side. That is how you come back, that is crazy. Walks from the first, strikes him out the rest, the next three batters. Rough start here from Norwell. The Green Wave starting lineup leading off is John Polito, the shortstop. Batting second is Ryan Tobin. Aaron Siegel bats third. Matt McGuire is the cleanup hitter. Spencer Merrick bats fifth. Aiden O'Donnell is hitting sixth today. Stephen Madden, the pitcher, is batting seventh. Hitting eighth is the second baseman, Eddie Riley. And batting ninth is Jack Clifford. The Clippers defense. At first base is A.J. Van Winkle. Second base is Robert Lydon. The shortstop is Matt Kilroy. Third baseman is Jack Burtwell. Left to right across the outfield. Nick Ferraro is in center. And Alec Pettit is in left. Right field is Brady Kudrick. Yeah. I've been kind of quiet this first inning. I'm trying to formulate an opinion on both teams. Green Wave coming out strong on the defense. Now let's see him on offense. Let's see if he can get some bases here. Green Wave 7 and 2 overall, 6 and 2 in the South Shore League. The Clippers having a bit of a rough go of it coming into this game at 2 and 9. Last game, John Polito was on base. Two of his three at bats, walking a single. At the bottom of your screen, you can see John Polito warming up, getting loose, ready to let him fly. Right. See how the Green Wave reacts to the noticeable absence in their lineup. That would, of course, be Brady Cristoforo out with an injury, he would normally be starting pitching a game like this. Instead, he is injured and expected to be out until the start of the MIAA tournament. What was his uh, batting position? Uh, second. He batted second. John Polito steps in and takes Strike one on the changeup by Chris Allen. Oh, oh. makes this one to center. It'll drop in for a base hit. And it's a leadoff single for John Polito. Here's a center fielder, Polito's hockey teammate, Ryan Tobin. Tobin 
last game against the Clippers. 0 for 2, two strikeouts. He'll try to have a better go of it. And hits a high rising pop up to left center field. Called off and making the grab is the left field. One away. Now it's Pettit patrolling left field. Aaron Siegel walking up to some Shakira. They'll check Polito at first. He dives back in safely. I mean, when you walk out to Shakira, that, that's dangerous. Siegel takes strike one over the outside corner. Decent lead at first for Polito. He'll take off. Siegel grounds this one foul down the third base line. 0 oh, 2. Owen oh, 2 to Siegel. Polito takes his lead. He'll hold this time. Siegel hits this one. A high pop up to shallow left. And it's That's going an error. to bounce off of Pettit. Polito is holding, so he'll only get to second. And Siegel will reach on the E7. As you can see, we got John Polito on second, Siegel on first. This is Manny McGuire up to bat. McGuire, the cleanup hitter, first baseman. Takes ball one high and up outside. One away here in the bottom of the first inning. Spencer Merrick awaiting on deck. McGuire hits this one to second. The toss to second base in time, no throw to first, so. A fielder's choice will retire Aaron Siegel. Polito moves up to third, and McGuire is on first. Two away. Spencer Merrick steps in, the hard-hitting catcher for the Green Wave. He reached base in all three at bats last week against the Clippers. Two walks and a single. And he'll take strike one on the slow curveball over the plate. I wonder how long Matt McGuire is going to hold on first base with second open. Merrick chops this one down to third. It's through the infield. Polito will score. And McGuire moves up to second. An RBI single for Spencer Merrick. Aiden O'Donnell, the right fielder, steps in. Runners on first and second. O'Donnell looks at ball one high and inside, one and out. Ball two high and inside. Chris Allen. Trying to escape the jam. His 2 0. O'Donnell hits it to third. The long throw from short is in time for the out. And that will retire the side. The Green Wave, however, able to plate one run on three hits, one error for the Clippers. We head to the top of the second with the Green Wave leading it 1-0 in the opening round of the South Shore League Tournament. Thank you. 
Top of the second inning will be led off by Chris Allen. Matt Kilroy is due up second. Alec Pettit will bat third for the Clippers. Stephen Madden back on the bump for the top of the second. He struck out the side. One, two, three in order after allowing a leadoff walk in the first inning. Oh. And he comes in with strike one on the fastball. Absolute rocket. This one sliced foul down the right field line. 0-2. Oh Dangerous territory for Norwell. 0-2. Oh the 0-2 oh for Madden. Curveball comes in a bit high and outside. Ball one. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Four straight Ks for Madden. Matt Kilroy. The shortstop steps in. He went 0 for 2 last game against the Green Wave. Two flyouts to right field. This one fly to center. It'll one hop Ryan Tobin. And it's a one out base hit. Alec Pettit, the left fielder, steps in. So many different bats over there for Norwell. You really think the bats make a difference? It all depends on the specs. Some are heavier, some are longer. Some are different materials. I think the worst sport where you see that is golf. Whole different lineup of titanium aluminum heads. Curveball comes in high ball three. Three and oh now to pet it. Oh, 
Madden will check the runner over at first. Kilroy dives back in safely. You gotta think with the field so close together, you gotta hope that no unsuspecting player on the other one might get knocked in the head of the dinger. In there for strike one as Pettit was expecting ball four. We saw that in a recent game, somebody down on the JV team. The strike two is Madden's trying to come back with a vengeance here. Somebody on the JV team hit an absolute bomb. It wound up at shortstop of the varsity field in wow. the middle of an inning. Wow. The payoff pitch for Madden. A little bit low, ball four. The, the backup catcher for the varsity team, Centrella, hit that shot. JV team is in action today as they face the Middleborough Sachems in the first round of the Junior Varsity Social League Tournament. Well, one low and inside. This is Robert Lydon. Lydon 0 for 1 last week. Ball and a strike to him. This one bounces Merrick a nice block. And Kilroy will return to second. Jack Burtwell is awaiting on deck. Now on a bit outside, two and, uh, three and one. They'll check the runner and Kilroy will scamper back to second safely. One is a little bit low ball four, two straight walks. Bases are loaded. Two straight walks here for Steve Madden. Off a hot four strikeout count. Jack Burtwell, 0 for two last week. Strikeout and a ground out to first base. There is one away here in the top of the second. And Steven Madden tries to get himself out of the jam. A little bit high in inside ball one. That one's in there for a strike over the inside corner. Ball and a strike to Burtwell. Nick Ferraro at the top of the order is on deck for Norwell. Now I'm low and away, ball two. This one fouled off out of play. Count evens up, it two balls, two strikes. The two two. Swing and a miss, strike three. I said that's a foul tip. Now they're saying it's a foul tip. You had nothing, right? You had strike three. Right. 
All right, so two balls, two strikes. One away. Burt will escapes. We'll see if he can capitalize on the gift. The pitch from Madden is high ball three. Full count, payoff pitch, bases loaded, one out, top of the second. Here it is from Steven Madden. Bounces, ball four. Three straight walks allowed by Madden, and the game is now tied as that walked in a run. Matt Kilroy crosses the plate, and we'll have a meeting at the mound. Coach Paraxlis is unhappy with multiple things, the umpiring included, and there is lightning, so the teams will clear the field for an unspecified amount of time. We're gonna cut the feed, we will hopefully be back at some point. It's 1-1 in the top of the second inning with one out, Aaron Johnson, Matt Nelson. Hopefully, we'll be back in a flash. Hello and welcome back to the Tom Graham Diamond at Memorial Field after a lengthy thunder slash rain delay. We are back, it's the top of the second inning. Nick Ferraro steps in, he walked his first time up. It is tied one to one, the bases are loaded. There's one out in the top of the second inning. Steven Madden returns to the bump for the green wave. It's a great opportunity Three. now for uh, Steve Madden to refresh that arm. And so we're gonna miss for Ferraro. The bases are loaded by virtue of three walks. Consecutively, Matt Kilroy scored earlier this inning after a single put him on base. Here's a fly ball towards Aiden O'Donnell in right field. He's gonna try the shoot. The throw's on target and just behind Jack, uh, rather that's Alex Pettit who scores. And they appeal to third base saying he left early and they rule him safe. So 2-1 Norwell now. Runners on third and first. Sack fly gives us two outs in the inning now. Good attempt by Aiden O'Donnell out and right. Here's Brady Kudrick who struck out his first time up. He takes strike one over the outside corner. Lengthy thunder delay. We were all told sitting for about an hour before coming back to action. That one just outside. One and one to Kudrick. Connor Terrian's waiting on deck. Now on a little bit upstairs and outside. Two balls, one strike. Here you go, regroup. That one a bit outside for ball three, three and one. This one slicing foul. That will bring the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Slightly cooled off. It is now reading 84 degrees, but humid as all hell. <laughs> I, I like the humidity now because it's cooler. It's not it's all beating hot. It's nice. Payoff pitch Great from Stephen Madden. Ooh. High rising pop up to right. O'Donnell trying to call off Riley. Riley didn't back off. O'Donnell made the catch and that will end very long top of the second inning. <laughs> two to one is the score. The Norwell Clippers on top two runs on just one hit in that inning. 
They leave two runners stranded on base. We'll head to the bottom of the second. The pitcher, Stephen Madden, will lead off. Eddie Riley is due up second. Jack Clifford will bat third. Bottom of the second inning, Stephen Madden leads off his first at bat. Eddie Riley waiting on deck. Madden takes strike one on the curveball over the plate. These two teams had a couple of draws in tic-tac-toe during the lengthy break. It's also a challenge of a dance party that didn't come to fruition. That one falls foul. 0-2 to Madden. Deal two. He's crushed to center. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Hanging curveball over the plate, and Steven Madden takes it right up the middle. Owen Haggerty will be the courtesy runner for the pitcher, Steven Madden. Jack Clifford's awaiting on deck. Eddie Riley gets his first at bat this game. And check Haggerty at first, he dives back in safely. Haggerty takes another stack. They'll check him again, and he dives back in safely once again. <laughs> Tried twice. Can't do it. Big lead for Haggerty. Riley takes ball one low and outside. That pitcher has a freaking... Knack for first base right now. Haggerty's in his head with the big 10 foot lead that he's taking every pitch. <laughs> Pitcher is Chris Allen for the Clippers. Another step for Haggerty. He'll take off. Riley tags this one down the left field line. It will fall foul. What are the odds the pitcher throws to first again? It's a ball and a strike to Riley. He might toss over here. A seven foot lead. He'll go home with the pitch, and Riley takes ball two, high and outside. The Clippers spent the lengthy rain delay on a very hot and humid bus. They'll check Owen Haggerty, and he dives back in safely once again. Think we'll go another time? Might go one more here. Two balls, one strike to Eddie Riley. Big lead for Haggerty. Designed pitch out on the fastball high and outside. Three balls, one strike. Haggerty's got his biggest lead yet. He'll hold, Riley tags this one to left again. And making the full sprint grab is the left fielder. Here's a here's a technicality if I've ever seen one. Alec Pettit 
as he was slowing down his run, carried the ball out of play. So Owen Haggerty is awarded second base. Wow. I thought I'd seen it all last night. Jack Clifford steps in for his first at bat. Big lead at second for Haggerty. Ball one low and inside. Robert Lydon is rent free in this pitcher's head. Robert Lydon is keeping Haggerty close to the bag. Curveball over the outside corner for a strike one, a ball and a strike to Clifford. That one is low ball two. This one bounces across ball three. Oh, Haggerty holds it second. John Polito awaiting on deck. Oh, yeah. That is ball four, high and inside. John Polito singled and scored his first time up, the only Abington run to this point. Bad and lefty. Takes ball one, low and outside. Polito right up the middle, it bounces off the pitcher's glove. They'll get Clifford at second, but runners on the corners. Two outs in the bottom of the second. Technically goes down as a fielder's choice for Polito. Ryan Tobin flew out to left field his first time up. Polito takes off for second, tag to right. It'll bounce in for a base hit. Polito turns for third, Haggerty scores. And we're tied up at two. Aaron Siegel reached on an error by the left fielder. A fly ball to deep left field his first time up. Tobin takes off for second. Siegel pops him up right side. First baseman's under it and makes the catch for the third out. Not before Abington ties it back up. Knotted up at two, heading to the top of the third inning. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, baseball fans of all ages, hello and welcome back to the Tom Graham Diamond at Memorial Field for the continuation of our first round South Shore League tournament game between the Norwell Clippers and the Abington Green Wave. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside Kevin Tachi for the end of this game. We'll pick it up in the top of the third inning. We're tied two to two. The Clippers come up to bat. It is Connor Terry and AJ Van Winkle and Chris Allen do up. Meanwhile, for the Green Wave, the only defensive change is that Aaron Siegel is the new pitcher. He switches with Steven Madden, who went two complete innings last night before it was thundered out. They called the game after two complete innings after it started thundering and lightning here in the Abington area. 
two runs for each team. Matt Kilroy and Alec Pettit both scored for the Clippers. John Polito and Steven Madden scored for the Green Wave. The winner of this game will now play on Friday. That is a little bit of a delay from Thursday. That's because the other game in the South Shore League first round featuring Cohasset got pushed back to tomorrow afternoon. The rest of the Clippers lineup, it's led off by Nick Ferraro. Brady Kudrick is batting second. Connor Terrian leads off this inning, but he's batting third in the lineup. A.J. Van Winkle is the cleanup hitter. Chris Allen is batting fifth. Garrett Fisher takes over for Matt Kilroy at shortstop. He's batting sixth. Alec Pettit, the left fielder, hits seventh. Robert Lydon is batting eighth. And Jack Burtwell, the new Clippers pitcher, is batting ninth. The Green Wave defense at uh, first base is Matt McGuire, second base Eddie Riley. Shortstop is John Polito. The third baseman is now Steven Madden, left to right across the outfield. Jack Clifford, Ryan Tobin, and Aiden O'Donnell. Spencer Merrick is doing the catching for Aaron Siegel. First pitch of the third inning is in for ball one from Siegel. Ball two to Conatarian who struck out looking his first time up in this game. There you go, Aaron. That curveball is in for the first strike of Aaron Siegel's day. Beautiful day for baseball, 85 degrees, a little bit hot, a little bit humid, a little bit steamy. This one upstairs, ball three, three and one count to Terry. Three one from Siegel. Swing and a miss at a high changeup. It's strike two, the count moves full. Payoff pitch from Aaron Siegel. It's curveball outside, and it's ball four. AJ Van Winkle steps in. He struck out swinging his first time up yesterday evening back in the first inning of this game. Curveball comes in up high ball one. Chris Allen, who started this game as the pitcher, is waiting on deck. That one comes in over the outside corner. The count evens up at one and one. Fastball comes in for strike two. A ball and two strikes as Siegel gets ahead of A.J. Van Winkle. A little bit low and outside, two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. The first out of the top of the third is a strikeout for Aaron Siegel. Two strikeouts in the game now for A.J. Van Winkle. Chris Allen steps in. He struck out looking back in the second inning. Good mix of pitches early on for Aaron Siegel. They'll check the runner at first. Diving back in safely is Terrian.
sidearm curveball hits Allen right in the middle of the back and he will take his base. That moves Terrian up to second. Garrett Fisher is the new shortstop. He takes the place of Matt Kilroy who singled and scored in his only at bat last night. Ball one to Fisher. That one comes in upstairs, ball two. Outside, it's three and oh to Fisher. Siegel's gonna try to battle back here. Runners are first and second one away in the top of the third inning. Now it comes in over the plate. Fisher was looking all the way on the 3-0. There's the count to three balls, one strike. Now one comes in inside, two walks in the inning and a hit batsman for Aaron Siegel. Will load the bases. Terran to third down to second, Fisher takes first. And Coach Presslis immediately out to the mound. A Little bit of a rough start. Kevin, the green wave now in a bit of jam with just one out here in the top of third. So what are you saying if you're going out to the mound right now? The one out, bases loaded. We will be saying good right now. Got to take it easy, slow things down. If anything else comes, then so be it. From Siegel, I'm trying to throw curveballs low and outside to force a potential inning ending double play. We'll see if Spencer Merrick frames up. Ball one outside to Alec Pettit, who walked and scored his first time up. Ron Lydon's away on deck. That fastball is on the outside corner for a strike. Two ball, one strike to Pettit. Single from the set. Three and one. Here's the pitch from Siegel. It's ball four high. Coach Paraxis has seen enough. A free run will give the Clippers back the lead. Siegel will return to third base. Steven Madden out to left. Aiden O'Donnell is going to come in from right field to pitch. Pitching change puts Aiden O'Donnell on the bump. He's had a very successful year on the hill for Abington. The bases look top of the third inning, one out.
Abington will have the corners play in. Siegel and Matt McGuire at the edge of the grass. Robert Lydon walked his first time up. Aiden O'Donnell's first pitch this game. Fastball in for strike. Great start. On one to Lydon. That one just a bit low. The count evens at one and one. The one one from O'Donnell. Swing and a miss at the heater, strike two. O'Donnell trying to Get out of the gym, bases loaded, one away. All three runners are the responsibility of Aaron Siegel. That one grounded down the third base line. Siegel steps on third to first. Not in time, a run will score. And then some momentary confusion. Two away, the fielder's choice retires Fisher at third base. Chris Allen scored. Four to two. Norwell on top. Jack Burtwell, the new Clippers pitcher, steps in for his second at bat. He walked his first time up in the second inning last evening. Curveball comes in over the inside corner. Four strike one to Burtwell. JP, you hold him. Eddie, get in position. Get over there. Hey, what's five? on first. In second, the 0 1 to Burtwell. He's grounded to Matt McGuire at first. He fields it cleanly and steps on the bag to retire the side. Two runs on one hit, no errors. And we head to the bottom of the third inning. The Clippers lead it 4 to 2. The green wave lineup will start with Matt McGuire, Spencer Merrick, and Aiden O'Donnell. From the top of the order, it is John Polito leading off. Ryan Tobin hits second. Aaron Siegel batting third. McGuire, Merrick, and O'Donnell, four, five, six. Stephen Madden bats seventh. Eddie Riley is hitting eighth. And Jack Clifford is in the nine slot. The Clippers defense at first base is A.J. Van Winkle. Second base is Robert Lydon. The shortstop is Garrett Fisher third base, is Chris Allen left to right across the outfield, Alec Pettit, Nick Ferraro, and Brady Kudrick. Connor Terrian is doing the catching for the new pitcher, Jack Burtwell. Winner of this game goes on to face the winner of the Cohasset game. That game will be on Friday afternoon. Matt McGuire singled his first time up in the first inning. Green Wave will have to string some hits together. Burtwell was one of the many pitchers the last time these two teams met last week. He had a little bit of a Rough go of it, pitching two innings and giving up three runs. Chris Allen started this game, went two innings, allowed both Abington runs. So he factors in for a no decision here. The 
first pitch to McGuire is outside ball one. This one skied to center field. Sizing it up is Ferraro. He makes the grab for out number one. Spencer Merrick singled his first time up this game. One for one so far, the Green Wave catcher. First pitch to Merrick. He's high and outside ball one. Cowboy Merrick, the chant from the Green Wave dugout. And he'll take strike one at the knees. Never too late for a rally. Ball and a strike to Merrick. Need base runners. Merrick fouls this one off, out of play. A ball and two strikes. The curveball will hit Merrick, and he'll take a first, a free base. Take him any way you can get him. First hit batsman for Burtwell. Aiden O'Donnell grounded out to shortstop in the first inning of this game. Question of who made the last out? I would believe yesterday. I mean, we are, at least the way I have it, correct in the Green Wave lineup. And we are, in fact, good. No, well, coach, questioning it, questioning. One to Aiden O'Donnell. Eric takes a healthy lead over at first. O'Donnell chops this one foul down the first baseline. They'll check Merrick and they'll throw it out of play. Merrick will get second base. A wild pickoff attempt by Jack Burtwell. Puts a runner in scoring position for Abington. comes in upstairs, ball two. Terry and old go to have a word with Burtwell. Green wave dugout. 
A little bit more energy than they had yesterday. Donald fouls this off out of play. The count evens up at two and two. The 2-2 two -two from Birdwell is sliced foul out of play. We'll do it again. Stephen Madden awaiting on deck. Merrick takes his lead at second. The 2-2 two -two from Burtwell is in the dirt, ball three, full count. Payoff pitch coming from Jack Burtwell. O'Donnell gets it down the third base line. Fair ball. They're going to wave Merrick home as it kind of dies in foul territory down left field. And Merrick will score four to three. An RBI single for Aiden O'Donnell. Courtesy runner for the pitcher, Aiden O'Donnell, will be Owen Haggerty. Slight bit of hesitation leaving second base. I want to make sure that ball is free and clear. Free and clear before you take off and potentially get tagged out at third. Of course, Owen Haggerty ended the game the last two of these two teams played. Big bomb. Eddie Riley's awaiting on deck. Madden is one for one in this game, a single and he scored the second way, uh, green wave run. Haggerty takes a big lead over at first. He's been known to do that. He'll hold, Madden slices it down the right field line. Could be trouble, it's gonna fall in for a base hit. Haggerty turns the corner towards third. The throw is gonna be off the line. And there's runners on the corners. Perfectly placed, Kevin. Dropped by in. Steven Madden down the right field line. Dropped in. Eddie Riley flew to deep left his first at bat this game. Here we go, Ed. Run this down tonight. One five. Here Second go, base Ed. open. We'll see for how long. Hey, Riley. Madden holds. Riley tags it to deep left. Sizing it up, Haggerty's gonna tag up. The throw is gonna be close, and it's not quite gonna make it. Haggerty scores to tie the game up. Small ball. Madden held it first. Riley with an RBI sacrifice fly to left. Jack Clifford walked his first time up. Hey, Jack! Hey, Clifford! What do you say, 2 6? Hey, Cliff! New ball game, 4 to 4 in the bottom of the third inning. Clifford leaves it out uh, on the outside corner, strike one. Oh. Madden the only base runner at first base. Two runs already crossed in the bottom half of the third. Madden takes off and it'll hit Clifford. Oh. 
second hit batter of the inning for Burtwell. John Polito, two for two with two singles to uh, well, in this game. Looks at strike one over the inside part of the plate. Oh, asked for oh. and is granted time. Hit from Burtwell. Inside and high ball one. Ball on a strike to Polito. The one one from Burtwell. A low ball two. Two away here in the bottom of the third. All not up at four runs apiece. Polito tags us to center. Ferraro steps in three feet and makes the grab to end the inning. Two runs, two hits, no errors for the Clippers in the bottom of the third. Much like we have ended every inning to this point, we are tied four to four. Top of the order, Nick Ferraro leads off the top half of the fourth. Brady Kudrick will bat second. Connor Terry do up third. Aiden O'Donnell back on the bump for the fourth inning. Here we go, Nod. Strike one fouled off of the umpire. Going one to Ferraro, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. Also flew out to right field. Ferraro swings and misses it, strike two. The 0 2 from O'Donnell. Curveball, strike three. Beautiful curveball. Ferraro thought it was coming inside. Leaned in as if it was going to hit him, and then it curved over the corner for strike three. One away, top of the fourth. And strike one to Brady Kudrick. Kudrick's 0 for 2, a fly out and a strikeout. Takes ball one upstairs. Clifford moves over to right field. Madden took left field after O'Donnell came to the mound. That one is in there for strike two. O'Donnell having a lot of success painting all areas of the strike zone. Here we go, now. Let's go. Two, four. Here we go, One, two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two strikeouts to start the top of the fourth inning for Aiden O'Donnell. There we go, Connor Terrian struck out and walked so far in this game in his two trips to the plate. Slices this one foul out of play. AJ Van Winkle are waiting on deck. Blowing away ball. One a ball and a strike to Terrian. He 
scored the third Clippers run of the day, of the game. Check swing, it's up high and inside, ball two. Two and one. This one grounded to Siegel at third. He makes the, the scoop, tosses over to McGuire at first. In time, one, two, three, in order to go to the Clippers in the top half of the fourth. Good play at third by Aaron Siegel. To the bottom half of the fourth we go. Ryan Tobin, Aaron Siegel, Matt McGuire do up for the green wave. Jack Burtwell back on the bump for the bottom half of the fourth. We're all knotted up four to four. Ryan Tobin is one for two, a single and a fly out to left field. Tobin steps in. First pitch of the bottom of the fourth. He's fouled off out of play. Snakes, 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 Oh. Tobin hits this one to right field. Sizing it up is Kudrick again. He'll make the grab for the out. I'm eating the size of my body. Aaron Siegel reached on an error in the first inning. Popped up to first base in the second inning. Both last night. Oh, no foul off pitch number one out of play. Dig, dig. Chopping down the third base line. The throw to first is low and through. Seagull's gonna turn for second. Got a boy, Aaron! And there'll be no throw. Seagull reaches for the second time on an error. This time a throwing error by the third baseman. Is a runner in scoring position for Matt McGuire, who's one for one. A single and a fly out to deep center. This one, the fastball high and outside. This game is one of three being recorded for the airwaves of Abington Community Access and Media today. More on that in a moment. Ball two upstairs. 2-0 to McGuire. I love you, McGuire. Three up high to the six foot four Matt McGuire. Three and oh, he's looking all the way here. Siegel takes his lead at second. That one is in there for a strike. Strike three balls, one strike to McGuire with one away here in the bottom of the fourth. Spencer Merrick awaiting on deck. The 3-1 to McGuire is fouled off out of play. The count moves full. Three balls and two strikes now for Jack Burtwell. 
shit. Mike Vance here. Hey, basketball Joe. Hey, basketball Joe. Basketball Joe. Basketball Joe. Basketball Joe. The payoff hit from Burtwell. Low ball four. Spencer Greg has reached base both times to the dish so far. Signal in the hit by pitch. Eric, the backstop not just of this team, but also for the Abington High School hockey team. Siegel takes a big 10 foot lead at second base. And the call one over Merrick's head. One and out of Merrick. This one comes in inside, ball two. McGuire has got about a 15 foot secondary lead at first. <laughs> Eric takes strike one on the fastball over the outer part of the plate. Two and one. Aiden O'Donnell is on deck for the green wave. Eric checks and holds up. The appeal, it is ball three. Three balls, one strike to the green wave catcher. Seagull on second, McGuire on first. Now in the upper part of the zone, the count moves full, three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch coming from Jack Burtwell. One away, bottom of the fourth inning. They'll check Siegel at second. He slides back in safely. Big lead for Aaron Siegel. Burwell goes home with the pitch. It's ball four inside. Bases are full. Nowhere to put him with one out in the bottom of the fourth. Siegel to third, McGuire to second. Merrick takes first. Aiden O'Donnell is one for one, a single and a ground out so far in this game. Big moment for him. O'Donnell hits it to right center field. Ferraro drifting over, he'll make the catch. Siegel's going to attempt the tag and the throw is cut off. Abington's got the lead, five to four. A sacrifice fly to center for Aiden O'Donnell. Steven Madden's two for two, two singles. Chance to do a little bit of damage here with two away in the fourth. Michael Pino will be the courtesy runner for Spencer Merrick. Madden steps in to face Burtwell for the second time. First pitch to Madden is a curveball in the lower end of the zone. Strike one. McGuire on second. Big lead for him. Burtwell will step off. McGuire will take off for third. The throw down. Yup! 
So when I, when I go on deck and do my walk up. See, they called McGuire safe there. There was no, no sign. So stolen bases for McGuire and Michael Pino. This one to Madden, it is blocked by the catcher, Terrian. Umpire didn't have any idea where that was. Ball at two strikes. Well, he wanted to be ready for any play at the plate. First base open for Matt, who's singled twice today, uh, twice in this game, once today. And he hits this one to deep right field, drifting back and unable to track it. McGuire scores. Pino will come home, and it's a two-run double for Stephen Matt. That is a product of the very hot beaming sun that is directly in the face of the right fielder. Riley hits a hot grounder down to third. The throw to first is in time for the out. That will end the inning, but not before the green wave strike and add three to their total. They lead it seven to four at the end of the fourth inning. To the top of the fifth we go. We let off by A.J. Van Winkle, Chris Allen do up second, Garrett Fisher will bat third for the Clippers. A.J. Van Winkle steps in. He is a victim of the strikeout twice in this game, both swinging. Aiden O'Donnell back on the hill for the fifth. Starts it off by throwing a fastball in for ball one, just a bit low. Fastball comes in low and a bit outside, ball two. That curveball comes in for strike one, two and one, the count to Van Winkle. Upstairs for ball three on the heater. Three one from Aiden O'Donnell. Boy! And a miss, strike two. Go there again. Fastball had a little bit of a smoke trail behind it. The count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. The payoff pitch from O'Donnell. Ball four, low and inside. All right, so what? So what? Get ahead. Chris Allen, 0 for 1. He was hit by a pitch and struck out earlier in this game. And Winkle on first. He's held close by Matt McGuire. Good block by Merrick. Hey, reset, reset, here we go. Garrett Fisher on deck. Curveball comes in for strike. One and one to Allen. He started this game about 24 hours ago. Went two complete innings before it was delayed due to the weather. He follows this one off, strike two.
Ball and two strikes to Chris Allen. O'Donnell checks the runner. One, two. Fouled off. We'll do it again. One, two from Aiden O'Donnell. Curveball lunging out for it. Siegel makes the play. He'll go to second. In time, they'll get the lead runner. And Allen reaches on the fielder's choice. Hey, nice pitch. Now, one more throw ball gets to the dugout. Nice job, Aaron. One away, top of the fifth inning. Same thing, same thing. 41. Garrett Fisher gets a recording at bat in this ball game. He walked his first time up. Ball one low and away. That curve comes in for strike one. Ball and strike to Fisher. This one chopped off the plate, rolling down the line. And Siegel picks it up on the line. The umpire says it's fair. Runners on first and second. Spencer. Alec Pettit has walked twice in this game. Big spot for him with one out. Runners on first and second. Strike one on the fastball. Short lead at second for Allen. Here comes in low ball one. One and one, the count to Pettit. This one to center field and a drop in for a base hit. Tobin has an issue handling it. They'll wave Allen home. The throw is going to be cut off by McGuire. A run will score and there'll be runners on the corners. Fisher moves up to third. Pettit with the RBI single makes it seven to five in the top of the fifth inning. Robert Lydon has walked and singled in this game. First pitch to Lydon is grounded to Polito. It's short. He throw to Eddie Riley for the out at second. The throw to first is not in time, but a good scoop 
by Matt McGuire. Another run will score, bringing us to seven to six. The Green Wave lead it by one. Two away. And Leiden reached on the field his choice. 31, 31. Jack Burtwell, he's grounded to first and walked in this game. Curveball hangs in for a strike. Owen, oh, one, two away here, top of the fifth. This one fouled off as Leiden took off for second. They must now retreat back to first. Ninety degrees at first pitch of the third inning today. Starting to cool off a little bit, down to 88, but very humid. The 0-2 from Aiden O'Donnell. Curveball and way out in front of it was Burtwell. We'll do it again. Curveball's really working for O'Donnell. He's getting a lot of motion on it today. The 0-2, they'll check Leiden at first. He dives back in safely. Slight breeze blowing in from center field towards home plate. The 0-2. Grounded to Polito at short. He'll toss to first in time. And the side is retired. Two runs, four hits, no errors. And we head to the bottom half of the fifth with the Green Wave leading. Seven to six in the first round of the South Shore League Tournament. Winner to face the winner of the game taking place in Cohasset tomorrow afternoon. That game is moved to Friday afternoon at the higher seed. Green Wave trying to hold on here. Busy day for Green Wave Athletics. We've got three varsity level sports for you today. In addition to this game, the Norwell Clippers and the Abington baseball team. We've got the Green Wave versus East Bridgewater Varsity Softball in the second round of their South Shore League Tournament. In addition, we've got the South Shore League Championship game over at the front lawn it was of relocated. High School. That is correct. It was supposed to, Frisbee versus Situate. It's supposed to be on the multi-purpose field. They moved it because the temperatures of the turf so that it was best to move it out to the high grass. Front I could, now that you mention it, I can only imagine with those the little black beads that are kicking on up. The turf. Absolutely. <laughs> to the bottom of the fifth we go. Jack Clifford will lead off. John Polito bats second. Ryan Tobin is due up third. Clifford yet to record an at-bat. He was hit by a pitch and walked. Okay, has reached base both right, trips to the walk, plate right, in this game. You don't walk them, they'll be fine, all right? Aaron, I know you probably panicked because it was hit by you, but so what? You just follow the ball until it hits the game, okay? I know who wanted it to draw. I didn't want it. I wanted it to spin foul. I don't know who was gonna, but sticking it up there, we have no chance of anything. If you let it roll, we get a You say, Jack. This tournament doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot for the Green Wave as they're headed to the MIAA tournament regardless of the outcome of this tournament. That starts next week. 
Same scenario as the Green Wave softball team. Clifford steps in. 0 for 0 so far, but he's reached base twice. And he fouls off pitch number one to the backstop. Might have a momentary pause of this game while they figure out his car alarm is going off. Cliff steps in. Bergelow back on the bump for the bottom half of the fifth. Clifford looks at strike two low and outside over the plate. Oh, and two for oh, Burtwell. Oh, and strike three, down by way of the K. Uh, three straight pitches is Clifford. John Polito is two for three, two singles, and a fly out to Deep Center. Strike one over the outside corner. Polito going with the classic stirrups look. No one to Polito. Hard hit grounder to short, takes a high bounce off of the lift. The throw to first is in time. Two away. Ryan Tobin flew out to deep right his last attack. He is one of three overall with a single and two flyouts. I pop up. This is the last play. Strike one to Tobin. Singing in the shower. You know, one from Burtwell. He's fouled off out of play. Oh, and two. You two from Burtwell. Grounded to really second. The throw is in time. That will retire the side. One, two, three. In order to go the green wave, we head to the sixth. Addington's holding on to a seven to six lead in the first round of the South Shore League Tournament. I want to thank you for hanging in with us all season long for our live streams. You've been there every game, youtube.com slash abingtoncam02351 slash live. That's the place to go all the way through the spring season. This one chopped up the middle. Polito makes the grab moving over. The throw to first is in time for the out, and Ferraro is retired for the third time this game. Ah, but don't forget the website, Matt. If you miss one of our live broadcasts, as I was beginning to say before that ground ball, abingtoncam.tv, the place to go for on-demand video, live streams of our cable access channels, bulletin board information, and more at the official online home of Abington Community Access and Media, abingtoncam.tv. Feel free to give us a follow across social media as well, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, abingtoncam underscore 02351. Brady Kudrick is 0 for 3, two strikeouts and a flyout to right. 
Connor Terrian is awaiting on deck for the Clippers. This game, a continuation of last night. Got through two innings before the Thunder and Lightning came to play here at the Tom Graham Diamond. Three and zero to Kudrick. Fastball right down Broadway for strike one. Now his ball four just low. Walk on five pitches to Kudrick. Carter Terrian, 0 for 2, he also walked. Kudrick on first with one away here in the top of the sixth. Aiden O'Donnell on in relief. This one fouled off. Might be thinking sacrifice bunt here. We'll check the runner and he got him. Picked off. Is Brady Kudrick and there are two away here in the top of the sixth. Kid's got a gun. Doesn't like it. See you later. Hey, that's enough. Good tag by Matt McGuire. I got it. Two away now, top of the sixth inning. It's 0-1 to Connor Terrian. Curveball comes in just a bit inside. That chunk ball's got a whole heck of a lot of movement on it for O'Donnell today. 1-1. Peter just low, ball two. Hey, good spot to miss, two, four. Right. Mile press a little bit, eh? Mile press a little bit. No more one. That one is right low, ball back. three, three breath, and one. It's you and Spence. <laughs> They can swing the bat. The pitch from O'Donnell is a fastball in for strike two at the knees. The count moves full. Three balls, two strikes with two outs here in the top of the sixth. The bases are empty. The payoff pitch from O'Donnell. Strike three, he got him looking. One, two, three in order, including a pickoff at first base. We head to the bottom of the sixth. It's still seven to six. Abington leading Norwell in the first round of the South Shore League Tournament. Jack Burtwell back on the bump for the bottom half of the sixth. During the weather delay yesterday, the teams Went draws on two games of tic-tac-toe on the sides of baseballs. It was also a dance party challenge that was, did not come to fruition, unfortunately. Aaron Siegel leads off the bottom half of the sixth for Abington. And takes ball one a bit high and inside. Siegel twice reached on errors and popped out to first. Siegel, a high rising pop up slicing to right. 
It's in the sun. And making the grab is Brady Kudrick. Seems to find it at the last second. Matt McGuire has singled, flew out to center, and walked today. Wire takes strike one inside corner. And one from Burtwell is tagged to center field. And Ferraro makes the grab, stepped in a couple of feet, two flyouts to start the sixth. And two quick away. Spencer Merrick. He's walked, he was hit by a pitch and singled. He scored two runs in wave in this game. Time asked for and granted by the catcher. Two away, bases empty for Spencer Merrick. He looks at strike one over the outside corner on the fastball. This one bounces across ball one. It's worth noting to the audience if they've heard me chuckle a few times, the, the chatter, the dugout chatter. You don't get to appreciate the dugout chatter. Unless you're at the game. Just high for ball two. The Abington dugout is indeed one of the louder teams in terms of support for their teammates. Absolutely. Very vocal. Eric follows this one off out of play. The count evens up at two balls, two strikes. Eric, hard hit grounder to short, takes a hop off the lip. The throw is in time. One, two, three in order for the second straight inning going to the green wave. And we have reached the seventh inning. Time to stretch. AJ Van Winkle, Chris Allen, Garrett Fisher do up for the Clippers in the final scheduling frame. It has taken about 25 and a half hours to get here. And yet here we are. This game started at 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. It's quite a marathon, huh? <laughs> it's been a long one. The only difference between yesterday and today is there is not an ominous cloud in the sky at this moment. Yesterday, thunder and lightning yes. ended up delaying it till today. We were able to grab a couple umpires last minute. The Cohasset was not so lucky. That's why their first round game is tomorrow afternoon. Aiden O'Donnell will be back on the hill for the seventh frame. On in relief of Aaron Siegel, who was on in relief of Stephen Madden, who started this game yesterday. Nothing I can do. 
Darnold's got pretty much everything working for him today. The fastball, the curveball's got a whole lot of motion. Hmm. On and relief might be might uh, want to add. Folks are just tuning in. He did start this game out in right field. Both yesterday and today. This game part of triple barrel action on the airwaves of Abington Community Access and Media. We've also got the girls' second round matchup over at the softball field against the East Bridgewater Vikings. Abington High School ultimate Frisbee in the South Shore League Championship game out on the Great Lawn of Abington High School against the Situate Sailors. AJ Van Winkle steps in. He is one for three, two strikeouts. Or one for two, rather, two strikeouts and a walk. Curveball of the inning. Barely touches the inside corner for strike one. Green wave could end it here with three outs. Oh, and two. Two straight curves from O'Donnell. You can see how they are just dropping right off the table. Here is the 0-2 from Aiden O'Donnell. And a boy! The heater is fouled off. Hold on that, please. Still, still too good, Aiden. Too good. Chris Allen is on deck. The ball flies out to center. Tobin is under it, and he makes the grab for out number one. Chris Allen singled and scored his last time up. One for two overall. He also was hit by a pitch and struck out. Scored two of the six Clippers runs. First pitch to him is a fastball outside, ball one. on the heater, ball two from O'Donnell. Good pitching up there, 2-4. What's up, Greg? 2-0. Hey, 2-4. Oh, What's up, Greg? Oh, 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 over the inside oh, corner for strike in. one. In field, be quick, guys. Pretty good wheels. Two and one okay. for O'Donnell. Good wheels. Let's go, Greg. Uh, a high slide. Count evens up at two and two as O'Donnell tries to battle back. Two two. Swing a miss, strike three on the curve, and there are two away in the top of the seventh. Garrett Fisher represents the last chance for the Clippers. He is two for two with two singles and a walk. He has scored two of the six runs. Inside of it, low ball one. Past Merrick. Ball two. Come on, don't overthrow. 
Fisher represents the last chance for Norwell in the South Shore League Tournament Round 1. 2-0 to him. It's a fly ball to center. Tobin running over. He makes the catch. And Abington wins the Round 1 game of the 2021 South Shore League Tournament. 1-2-3 in order in the top of the seventh go of the Clippers. They have been eliminated from South Shore League contention. The final score, seven to six. Abington will move on to face the winner of the Cohasset game Friday afternoon. If it is here at the Tom Graham Diamond, we should have it for you on the airwaves of Abington Community Access and Media. I want to thank you for watching this game. I want to thank not one, but two cameramen for bringing you the sights and sounds from the Tom Graham Diamond, both AJ Aaron Johnson and Kevin Tachi, both filling in for color commentary as well. And for everyone here at Abington Community Access and Media, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We will see you next game.